Well, hello, my lovelies. How are you? I've missed you guys so much. Have you all been well? Here in Melbourne, we have been let free. We're, we're free from lockdown. So for the last three, four weeks, we've been going about our normal lives. COVID safe, of course, because the virus isn't gone. It's just we don't have any cases anymore, which is fantastic. But once travel opens up from interstate and international, we have to be extra careful. My American viewers watching this, please let me know in the comments how you feel about the COVID situation in your country because you're getting so many cases per day and so many deaths. Please let me know how you feel about it, whether you are for a lockdown, a national lockdown, wearing masks and all that. I'd love to see your view on things. Here in Melbourne, we were in um, lockdown for four months, I believe it was. And in that time, I you, can't, you couldn't do much because of the restrictions. So by the end of the lockdown, I actually wanted to put my nails back on. So this is what I am doing here. <laughs> I'm actually putting my acrylics back on after I think maybe two and a half years, three years of not wearing acrylics. I'm actually going all out and I'm going to do a full set on myself. So in this video I am doing my right hand and I have removed the old, uh, I had SNS on the nails and I just used my carbide bit to remove all the product and now I'm using my sanding band and prepping the nail. And once that's all done I can go ahead and start applying the tips. I'm using natural coloured tips and I apply glue in the little well that's on the tip and then I carefully apply it onto my nail. And boy, after not doing my nails for close to three years, did I struggle doing this. <laughs> the whole entire set basically it was a complete struggle and it sort of reminded me why I stopped doing my nails to begin with. <laughs> I should find myself a nail buddy and we can do each other's nails because that'll make my life a hell of a lot easier. Okay, and once I've applied all the tips to my nails, I am then going to cut them to the length which I want. And... I wouldn't call this length short, but I wouldn't call it long either. Sort of like a medium length. And I'm also going to go for the coffin look as well. And because these tips aren't, well, they don't have a C-curve in them, I'm pinching them a little bit to bend the plastic so there's more of a C-curve in the tip because I reckon most nail techs find C-curves very attractive. <laughs> Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. Now I am just smoothing in the tip, blending it so it looks like it's a, an extension of my nail and that uh, you can't tell that it's a plastic step on my nail. And I'm using my sanding band to blend that in. Um, I'm only sanding onto the plastic part and avoiding filing onto the natural nail. Now the fun part begins. I'm going to be using coloured acrylics so naturally whenever I do use coloured acrylics I always like to put down a layer of clear acrylic and that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I chose to start off with my hardest hand. I am right handed so here I have to use my left hand to work on this hand and it's very hard, very hard to do. But I manage it and the set does look pretty nice in the end so all's well that ends well. Now the first nail I'm going to start with is the ring finger because I'm doing a reverse French on that one and I need the nail bed with a smile line to firm up so I can file into the smile line to make my life easier applying the French part. So I'm starting off with the stress line bead and applying a uh, cover pink to that area and then using my brush to neaten up the smile line and flatten the back part of the bead so I can come back in with another bead at the cuticle pat it into place and then um, smooth it or feather it over the initial bead which I put down. I'm going to let that dry so I can file the smile line into it and in the meantime I'm moving on to the, uh, the middle finger and applying the same nude colour but this time it's going to be on the entire nail. Once I've applied the nude coloured acrylic onto the entire nail, I'm going to add some Fimo slices to the side of the nail. And I put a little flower and I'm also going to put what looks to be like a blue lime. <laughs> a weird coloured, look, weird looking coloured lime. And also a little apple piece. And I'm securing them with a little bit of clear acrylic. And just before the acrylic dries, I use the backing of a nail form to help shape the Fimo slices to the curve of my natural nail. I wait 
for a little bit for it to dry and then I can take the nail form off and then encapsulate the whole nail with some clear acrylic. This will seal in the femo slices and also give the nail some strength and structure. Looking back at this video, it doesn't look like I'm struggling to do my nails. For some reason, it looks like I am breezing through this, but it was actually, I really did struggle to do my right hand because I'm obviously not left-handed uh, and it's hard to work with my left hand, but I managed in the end. All right, so by now the ring finger has dried and I'm using my nail file to crisp up the smile line. And when that's done, I'm going to add some blue acrylic, butt it right up to the smile line and then pat out the remaining acrylic to form the free edge. Now, as you can see, I'm not too concerned with the colored acrylic moving onto the nail bed because when I do file and shape that nail, all that blue excess on the nail bed will be removed. Now moving on to the pinky, I'm going to do an ombre for that one. So I'm feathering up the blue colour from the tip towards the cuticle and then with the same coloured nude as I used previously, I'm placing it at the cuticle and feathering that down over the blue. And this gives it a beautiful ombre. Once the colours have been ombre, I then use some clear acrylic to encapsulate the nail and more importantly to seal in the ombre. So when I do file the nail a bit later on, I don't file away the ombre which I just created. Next in line is the pointer finger. This nail is going to be entirely blue. So I'm starting off with the bead at the cuticle area, patting it into place and then feathering it over the nail, making sure my cuticle is nice and neat. And then with another bead at the free, day, free edge, I am feathering that backwards towards the cuticle. This will also need encapsulating with some clear acrylic to make sure the nail has some strength and structure. For the thumb, I'm also going to do an ombre on this one. So same deal as before, blue colored acrylic at the free edge and then feathering that backwards towards the cuticle. And then at the cuticle part, I'm going to use the nude colored acrylic and then feather that down towards the free edge. This part I had to do in two sections, which is okay. You can break up any part of the nail application into more than one bead if that's how you feel most comfortable working. And then here we go with the clear acrylic and placing that on to seal in the ombre. With all the acrylic work dried, I can then go into finish filing. Here I'm just using my sanding band to smooth over the entire surface of all the nails. And can you see the ring finger, how all that excess blue has filed off and you can just see the perfect French smile line. I continue finish filing all the nails and when that's done, it is time to add some bling. Naturally, I'm going to stick some crystals onto my nails. Oh, and who here has heard that Zwarovski is not going to be selling to nail technicians anymore? This announcement was made about three or four weeks ago and I can tell you I was very disappointed to hear that and now we have to find a, a good substitute for it. So I'm pretty sure there are substitutes out there but I just felt it was kind of rude of Swarovski to consider us not bougie enough and not really a luxury service and because of that they decided to stop selling to nail techs. Yeah, let me know in the comments how you feel about that as well. I wasn't happy to hear that. But I can tell you who was happy to hear that Zoroski wasn't selling to us, and that was mum. <laughs> I told her, mum, bad news, Zoroski's not going to sell to us anymore. And she's like, oh, oh well, better for me. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the heart to tell her that I'm going to find a substitute and she won't escape the Zoroski. So uh, I think I'll leave that as a surprise to her for later on when I do her nails. <laughs> so I'm just attaching the smaller crystals with some no wipe top coat and this handy little trick I got from Patrice and her channel is called Patrice Nailed It here on YouTube as well. Once the crystals are in place, I'm going to cure them and this set will be ready for reveal. And here is my completed set of nails. What do you think of them? Geez, after so many years of not having nails, it took me a long time to get used to having the length on the nails again. But I think it's actually rather pretty. I didn't mind this set at all. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And also click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And uh, that's it, my lovelies, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My left hand 
full set will be coming up shortly after this one in a couple of days maybe up to a week and that's it for today's video i will catch you all on my next video but in the meantime if you would like to watch another video youtube recommends this one for you while i recommend this one which one will you choose i'll see you next time bye